Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. It's about 8.30 and this is a video I've been promising several people on YouTube uh, to do for a long, long time. And I finally uh, thought about it. So this is my going to be my bottle collection. You just see a nice old uh, vintage clock here. I'm a sucker for vintage clocks and can't pass those up. Uh, so I collect soda bottles and maybe a few beer bottles here and there, but mostly soda bottles. And if I have time, I'll show you a few other things here. Um, I keep these on my windowsill in my kitchen. Uh, the first bottle we have here is an old Coca-Cola. I don't know what date it is, but it's from Salem, Oregon. A local uh, local bottle, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I will say most of these bottles were between 25 cents and a few dollars. So I try not to spend more than five dollars on a bottle unless it's super rare or something that I haven't seen before. Because so these are just decorating my kitchen, that's all. Uh, this is sugar-free hires. Uh, it's a money back bottle. It's probably from the 70s, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I'm sorry, the light is uh, not too good tonight, but that's what we have here. You'll probably see me in the background window there. This is a vintage, probably 50s Dr. Pepper. That's probably pretty cool. I'm not sure where it's bottled out of. We'll take a look here in the back here. It doesn't say there. Uh, Dr. Pepper label there. Um, I just wanted to keep these in the windowsill so I don't have to redo all of this. Uh, this is not a valuable bottle. In fact, some of these collector's bottles here have some of the least value. This is a commemorative bottle out of Colorado. I found it at a thrift store. Nobody wanted to buy it, so I think I paid a whopping 50 cents for that bottle. And um, that's all there is to that one. Um, this is out of 76. And there's the back of it, the bicentennial. Centennial. Anything bicentennial has very little value because most people do not care about the bicentennial. They're carried a, worried about the here and now, and the bicentennial made billions of stuff. Here's just a common squirt bottle with not much value here, but it just has a little squirt or whatever his name was right there. That's pretty cool. I think this is one of the oldest bottles I've had in my collection. I'm not the oldest bottles, but I've had this the longest, and I think this Coca-Cola bottle was dated 55 or something like that, or 52 and it was in my grandma's stuff. I'm pretty sure that that particular bottle was there. So that's kind of a sentimental bottle here. Here's a, a kind of a kind of a boring bottle from Fresca. A little kind of odd shape there and there's a logo 10 fluid ounces. It looks like it's got bubbles in there and, it, and that's just how the bottle was made. I don't remember what the date of that one is. It's not super important. This is one of the newest bottles I have in my collection and I paid probably about 50 cents for this one and somebody put it back and I said you know what I'm going to take that one and this is Jolt Cola and Jolt Cola salutes the US Armed Forces of Operation Desert Storm I don't know how rare those are but I just thought this was the coolest thing if you're a kid of the 80's and the 90's you'll remember Jolt as being one of the sugariest drinks on planet earth and they were some sort of banned in schools and who knows what happened with Jolt I don't know I think they revamped Jolt with some less sugar in there but everybody was getting really uh, messed up on Jolt uh, here's a Royal Flush, Ace is Ace High, a lemonade, Lemon Dry, it's lithiated, so that's uh, kind of cool. Um, again, this was not very much, probably in a Goodwill or something. It's a mixer, it's part of the, one of the best. After eating, before retiring, and on arising. It's an an anti-acid beverage, so that's kind of interesting. It's a Suncrest bottle. Oh, I used to have two of these, but I think one had a damage to the lip, and uh, so I chose to keep this one. I try not to keep too many duplicates. This is out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, here's a 7-Up bottle, and it's got its old vintage lid there. Uh, bottle cap, so that's kind of cool. I don't really collect bottle caps. They're a dime a dozen, unless you know what you're doing. This is Honeydew beverage. I think that was dated 59 on the bottom. If you look, I'm not going to look at the bottom. Most of them say Dirk Glass or Owens. Uh, glassworks or whatever you call it. Here's probably a 70s uh, sugar-free, maybe early 80s, 7 up here bottle, one of the taller ones there. It's kind of fun. Anything on the back is more or less the same. Here's a clear uh, Coca-Cola glass. They usually think of them as green. This is much newer one, uh, deposit, no deposit. And what is the date on there? I don't know. If anybody knows the date of these clear glass ones here, they look fairly recent here, like a screw-on uh, cap there. Um, but I still had to have it because I didn't have one of those. Um, moving along here, we'll move this out of the way. Actually, this is, um, I'm sorry, this is, I'll show you my dirty sink here. Uh, this is a Greer's Ammonia um, bottle here. It's got a chip on the lip there, but it's a nice decorative bottle, and that's why I grabbed that one, and that was cool to have that one. It's kind of a greenish color, but you can't see because of the light, so that's a pretty neat bottle there. Okay, now moving on, we have Pepsi Free, and this is not a super valuable bottle here. 
So that's just what that is, a 16 ounce bottle from the 70s probably. Um, this one here is a really ancient bottle with uh, uh, some bubbles and it's a green bottle. They're all looking, uh, well there it is, so you can see green. Um, there's a big, big, big flaw in the bottle there. These are super old. This is a pure Italian olive oil, Allen & Lewis, uh, Portland, Oregon, and it's a real bottle. A lot of people thought this was a reproduction, so they passed on it. And I got that for like a dollar, less than a dollar. So that was really awesome to have that one. Uh, here's a very worthless bottle, the NBA Portland Trailblazers. Uh, it might become a collectible uh, sometime, but um, uh, this was probably about 50 cents. Uh, if you pay more than five dollars for these bottles, uh, you're asking for it. It's really not worth it. Uh, 1976-77. There's billions of those. Um, here's a diet, I don't know if it's diet, but here's a kissed soda, and it's from the Salem Bottling Works, I think. Yeah, the Salem Kissed Bottling Company, Salem, Oregon, so that's a really cool bottle. I've had several of those before. Uh, here's a squirt bottle, a really large one. You don't really see that size, and that actually has the lid there, so that's really pretty cool to have that one. Uh, squirt, I don't remember what size it was. Um, squirt, oh, there we go, there's Mr. S the, the squirt kid there. 12 fluid ounces, so it's a sizable bottle there. And I might have not shown you this Diet 7 up here, probably 70s again. Um, so there's that cool. I have this um, drink Coca-Cola in bottles tray, again from another thrift store, because that's what you do. All of my clothes now. got this really beat up Pepsi Cola bottle, but I think that was 50 cents. It was really dirty, but it came out really pretty nice. So anyway, this is uh, footage I shot, and the sound went away, so... Uh, this is a Pepsi bottle I paid approximately 50 cents for at one of my favorite thrift stores. And this Hires one cleaned up really, really nice. That was 50 cents from a local thrift store. And they were super dirty, but cleaned up really, really nice. For 50 cents, I went back and got some more bottles. This one's out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, cool Hires bottle, probably 50s, 60s, I don't know. Uh, this one is one of my favorite Mason's Root Beer. I just like the design. That's probably 60s, I'm guessing. Um, uh, Chicago, Illinois, I think that's what it says. Uh, I just liked it. A little faded, but not too terrible. Again, 50 cents for that bottle. This one's grape, at, uh, grape soda, and it's bottled out of Salem, Oregon, so that's really pretty cool. Uh, the Grape at, uh, Bottling Works, or whatever it said, Bottling Company. This one came out really nice. It's Dad's Root Beer. That came out almost mint. I mean, uh, really, really, really nice bottle. Very clean bottle. Um, it's not super valuable, but you know, again, probably 50 cents, I think, maybe a dollar. It's just not much at all for that one. That's what usually I pay. And this one's kind of beat up around the edge. It might have been used a bunch of times, I'm not sure. Probably a 1960s, early 70s Coca-Cola. And this one was uh, bottled out of Texas, as you'll see in a minute here. Uh, I think it's Plainview, Texas. And we'll see here, just one second here. Plainview, Texas. There we go. I just liked it, and I just thought the bottle was kind of cool, even though it had wear on it, not super valuable. And I had made some joke about uh, Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future with a tab. The guy uh, said, you can't have a tab, but you haven't even bought anything yet. Probably a 1960s bottle. Not super rare. And you'll see in a second here that the bottom needs some serious cleaning. Well, maybe I've already showed it, but... Oh yeah, and I showed Pepsi Free. There it is. Pepsi free because he wanted a Pepsi free and he said you have to pay for it. Um, let's see, I'm going to be showing some other stuff here in my kitchen here. A cheer sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I was half price or something, so that was cool. Um, some old uh, beer bottles and beer cans. The beer bottles have some old labels on it. I don't really collect those, but, uh, and this was kind of dark here, so I just decided to um, just quickly show those and uh, maybe they'll be shown in a, another video. Um, at some point, you know, when I have some better lighting for that. Um, but I was just, I think, kind of wrapping up my thoughts on my bottle collection. Again, I didn't spend very much, and there's a couple of tobacco tins and a Colt 45 bottle. Uh, most of these things people looked at and passed on, and I said, well, for the price, 50 cents or a dollar, whatever it was, the Brotherhood tobacco was missing its lid, so. Hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching my bottle collection.